Hey guys, welcome to Pokedex, the channel where I build decks for the Pokemon trading card game. As you guys know, I've been posting less videos than I used to, and to make up for that, I'm trying to, to uh, showcase a novel idea in every single deck that I play. Um, I'm sure everyone has seen a Garchomp decks. I mean, they're everywhere right now. It's a stage 2, but it's actually playable. And it's funny how much the Pokemon company had to push this card for it to be uh, stage 2 and playable. Uh, it only has 130 HP, but for a single fighting energy turbo salt, the 60 damage, and you attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And mind you, this is any energy card, so you can attach specials. And it's to one of our Pokemon, so we can actually attach to the Garchomp itself, which is pretty insane. And then bite off, does 80 damage for 2 energy, but if, if it, the opponent's Pokemon is an EX, it actually does 160. Plus this guy also retreats for free, so there's all sorts of good things going for Garchomp. Yeah, and it's a fighting type, so there's uh, Corina, there's Fighting Stadium, there's Strong Energy, there's Focus Sash, there's a lot of stuff that works really nicely with Garchomp, so it's no surprise that we see pl people playing them. I've seen a lot of decks featuring uh, Octillery, and I'm not a big fan of that strategy. I think building a stage 2 is slow by itself. Uh, and I think the first uh, new idea that I, I'm trying to showcase here in this deck is just playing a Garchomp deck that's going all in. Uh, so it's kind of like a turbo deck. So I, I've been playing a lot of turbo decks lately. If you look at my uh, last videos, a lot of them are just turbo decks just going all in, uh, getting everything out uh, as fast as we can. And the reason for that is the meta is really relentless right now, mostly because of Night March. So to keep up with that, we cannot play slow decks like we used to. When I started playing, I guess my first deck or, or in paper cards was uh, Aromatis, Big Basics, and that was kind of a slowish deck. Uh, that built over time and it's funny uh, to think how far we've come that deck would get slaughtered today uh, <laughs> so that's kind of uh, funny but yeah Garchomp uh, I'm trying to build a speed version here but the thing uh, I, I guess that's more splashy about this deck is that I'm actually playing G Primal Groudon EX in here uh, the reason for that is uh, uh, my reasoning was, uh, I'm playing a Garchomp build, like a really quick and aggressive Garchomp build, and I actually want to build more than 4 Garchomps, uh, because if they get all of them get knocked out, for example, against Night March, I need to bring them back into play, and for that I'm playing Sacred Ash, but sometimes Sacred Ash is not enough, so I decided to try and play one Maxis Eden Vault Trick in here. For the later stages of the game, you know, when um, you've gone through pretty much all of your deck, and you can actually manage to play a Maxis in there, and you can bring one Garchomp directly into play, it seemed nice. And if I'm playing the Maxis, might as well try to play Primal Groudon as well. I mean, it's a different uh, sort of attacker from uh, Garchomp. They actually synergize pretty well if you can use Garchomp to charge up the Primal Groudon. And there are some matches where I think Primal Groudon EX is fine. I mean, it's I'm not 100% on this. Maybe it's uh, uh, still a shaky card in here. But I did take this deck for a spin uh, this past weekend. Um, uh, on a local local tournament, and I actually won the tournament with a stack, the si very same list that I'm showing you guys. Um, I actually only managed to get Primal Groudon EX out um, twice in the whole tournament, which I guess is fine. And one of them was against um, a Mega Mewtwo deck, and I think it, it was wonderful there. Because if we stick a uh, Focus Sash on Primal Groudon EX, that's four prizes that we are going to be taking, uh, for sure. So that's really, really good. I uh, just knocked out the Mega Mewtwo's. We get to a point where the Mewtwo's are hitting our Garchomps for uh, knockouts every single turn. And we are not hitting the Mewtwo's unless we get really lucky because we need two energy in there. So we might as well just start charging up the Primal Groudon, or at least that's how the, the game went, went. Maybe I could have won anyways without the Primal Groudon EX in there. I don't know, but it felt... It felt nice, that game. So, yeah, I'm showing the deck to you guys. Uh, might as well try it out, right? You never know if we are onto something. I guess if you really want a Primal Groudon in your deck, you can also uh, find an easier way to build it by having the normal Groudon in here and cutting the Maxis all together. Or maybe you just want to forget all this nonsense and just get rid of the Primal Groudon, get rid of the Maxis, and just, I don't know, play more consistency cards. But I do like the deck as it is. I think it's pretty funny, and I thought you guys would like it. So I'm building it for you. Um... Let's start by looking at the card, at the deck card by card. So we start off with two Shaman EX. I know most people don't play Shaman EX in their Garchomp decks. And once again, this is the Turbo version. I'm trying to avoid playing the Shaman if I can. But I don't know. It's sometimes we are forced to. So uh, one, uh, I guess, disadvantage here is that we are not playing a Z. Maybe that's a mistake. Uh, but the deck is kind of stuffed with the, uh, the Primal Groudon and all that. 
uh, the, maybe that's one of the cards that we would add if we cut the the Groudon line but yeah I think because AZ also works nicely with Garchomp if we have a Gibble and a, a Gabite in play and we have a full Garchomp line in the um, uh, in the active we can use AZ heal off all the damage and then put them back put the, the cards that we got back down into play like we usually do with the bats you know uh, because this guy attacks so well with just a single energy so I think we're going to have energy in play a lot of times so yeah I can understand the easy but I'm not playing it here uh, so usually when the that that's really not not a, a huge problem because usually when the opponent brings the shaman into the active position is to take knockout so I guess we lose two prizes but we have s so many ways to avoid uh, giving prizes out to the opponent with the deck as it is that it usually doesn't make a difference at all uh, they can bring the shaman back to stall but I guess we do have for uh, basic fighting energy which we can use on the shaman to retreat so that's not a big loss there as far as the Garchomp line itself goes we are playing 4 Gibble, 3 Gabite and 4 Garchomp we're playing less Gabite because we do have the rare candy but I still want the 3 just because I want to be able to build this over and over and sometimes we need to shuffle stuff with a Sacred Ash so I like having extra Gabites in there um, if they have been really nice for me uh, we are playing 1 Primal Groudon as I mentioned and then 2 Halucha it's not a Pokemon that I use a lot of times but I kinda feel like we need 2 because that brings our basics up to 8 and this deck takes a lot of mulligans as it is so I'm, I don't really want to cut the Halucha I guess we could have another basic Pokemon in here other than Halucha but I guess Halucha retreats for free and hits for a lot of damage so that's for a single energy so I guess that's really what, what we want out of a support Pokemon here uh, we have a single battle compressor, reason for battle compressor is Karina so we can Karina for battle compressor and then get the Primal Groudon into the discard pile and also maybe a Maxi's Eden Ball Trick. Also, if we have the Via Seeker, we can also dump a uh, Sycamore in there. And never forget that we can also get energy into the discard pile for Garchomp to accelerate into play. So that's super nice. We're only playing one, though, because we can grab it with Corina once again. I'm playing two level ball. This is a turbo version of the deck. So sometimes we use Corina and we just grab a Gibble and a level ball. And we just get two Gibbles into play, which is really nice, believe it or not. I really like level ball in here, helps us get our guys out. We have three rare candy, as I mentioned, one sacred dash to shuffle our guys back. I also would love to be playing the second sacred dash just because sometimes, well, we, we really just need one, right? But sometimes, just sometimes, we are forced to play it in the early stages of the game, and that sucks because we know that we won't have it for later stages of the game, but I guess it, it's not every game that we needed uh, either, so uh, maybe one is fine, I don't know. Uh, definitely a card to keep in mind. Uh, if we are adding something to the deck, we have four trainers mail and four ultra ball and you don't really see a lot of uh, Decks that play Corina that have four trainers mail and four ultra ball I guess that's something different that I'm playing here in my Garchomp deck as well But as I mentioned, I want to be uh, the quickest deck that I can I really 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 want to get the energies into the discard pile the shamans into play draw a lot of cards and get our evolutions down so I guess that makes sense and I've been enjoying them uh, or the deck as it is so we are also playing 4 VS Seeker to grab our supporters back as usual 3 Karina uh, it's usually the best supporter in the early stages of the game but sometimes uh, we just want to get the Seeker more anyway so I'm only playing 3 only 1 Lysander unfortunately we had to cut something so I cut 1 Lysander it's okay I mean we, usually we are killing everything that our opponent puts uh, in front of us with a Garchomp anyways so yeah Lysander is there for the, for the finishing for finishing the game on that Shaman or something like that but other than that we are just knocking stuff out with a Garchomp anyways we have 1 Maxis as I mentioned 4 Professor Sycamore as usual 3 Fighting Stadium to deal more damage with our Garchomp we are playing 3 Focus Sash because it's the best tool for this deck, I think. Uh, if we stick one down on our Primal Groudon, that's super awesome. Uh, I'm, I guess if we're not playing the Primal Groudon, maybe I would consider playing three uh, or just 2 Focus Sash and 3 Muscle Bands because Muscle Band, I think, is a little bit better in that regard. But because we are playing Groudon, I would just want to make sure that my opponent doesn't kill our huge Groudon if we get it into play. Plus, it's... it's I mean, the difference isn't much between one or the other. Uh, um, I guess this thing, Muscle Bands, are good when we are trying to hit um, one of their Pokémon uh, with Bite Off, because if they have a Focus Sash, and because we don't have the Starling Megaphone, we can just stick the Muscle Band down, and we can sometimes hit the 220 really easily, because we just need uh, three uh, damage increments, so that's... 
any combination of um, muscle band, strong energy, and fighting stadium. And we just buy it off for 220, which I did a lot of times in the tournament. You won't believe how easy it is to get it uh, with this deck because we're drawing so many cards. The opponent would just use a Palkia with a Fighting Fury belt, for example, or a Mega Mewtwo or something like that. And I just, eh, okay, bam, bam, 220 damage, <laughs> knock you out, and you get rid of all your energy in a single turn. So yet in that, I guess in that regard, uh, the Muscle Band is better. But yeah, Focus Sash just gives so many so much resilience to our 130 stage 2 pokemon that it's uh, really really good in this deck so as, as i said i don't know maybe two three would be nice um but i also like three two as well and because we we're playing Groudon, i went with three two and then as far as energy goes we're only playing eight uh so we're playing the four uh, strong energy and the four basic the basic uh, is important when you think that uh, grabbing uh, or retreating with shaman is better but otherwise the, the strong energy is really nice too even if you can battle compressor sometimes you just battle compressor for a strong because you can accelerate it with guard chomp which is awesome um, that's the deck let's go play it and we have an opponent and he's playing dark grass psychic and fire type pokemon so i don't really know what to expect here it's not a, a common uh, assortment of Pokemon types. I'm uh, choosing Tails as usual, and we win the coin flip, which is nice. So I, I definitely want to go first because we're playing Pokemon that evolve, so we wouldn't really be able to attack anyways. I don't really mind attacking with Gable, actually. Uh, so I'm starting with Alucha because it retreats for free. Uh, maybe it's useless, maybe it's super good, and I want to have the choice. So I guess I'll go with the Pokemon that retreats for free. And our opponent is playing, let's see, oh, Kumbi, okay, and that's there's also a Litleo, I wonder what power my opponent is playing, okay, so we're sticking this Focus Sash in here, and we're also sticking this thing in here, and we're also discarding the Groudon, which is nice, that's in the discard pile where it belongs. Okay, so, I'm going to play this thing, get another Gibble. putting it down because I can evolve it next turn and I'm just thinking should I play the shame in this turn I would be drawing four cards that's nice so I think I am yeah maybe I joined more gibbles that we will devolve I think I'm putting this thing here it's more important I guess uh, because we're also playing shamans I think this game is going to come down to the prize exchanges uh, hopefully my opponent also plays shamans that we can get okay there's a maxis that's super nice we have a primal ground but i don't think primal ground is going to be good in this matchup unfortunately i'd love to showcase it to you guys but uh but maybe we can also use the maxis just to draw cards and get a guard chomp into play i don't know let's see what happens next turn let's see what happens mm -mm. Yeah, I hope my opponent is playing Shamans and I hope I can bring them into the active some time, maybe in the later stages of the game, to just get those last two prizes. Um, having the Focus Sash is super nice here. Uh, my opponent basically needs less work than we do to kill our guys, uh, because he's, he's basically playing a Stage 1 deck and I'm playing a Stage 2 deck, so I, I need more work to build my guys. Uh, they both give out the same prizes, but we are using more resources, so it's harder for us. Uh, but the Focus Sash hopefully turns the tide, just makes it so that my opponent just needs to find uh, DCs or after DCs, and I can just destroy him. So, okay, so he discards. Oh, there's a Zoroark, so that's what he's going for. I guess Zoroark is not really scary because he's weak to us. So My opponent's probably going for a shame in here, I, I would guess. Oh, an Eevee, okay. So maybe he has a Shaman in hand, I mean, he already played the Skyla, so I guess, yeah, there's the Shaman. You're not fooling me, mister. I know what you're up to. So I guess m even the Alucha with the the, the Muscle Band is u might be useful later. And I'd rather just have um, Focus Ashes on my guys because... I'd rather them survive and trade favorably for prizes and then have the Alusha to hit for more damage later. Okay, so my opponent did not evolve, so I can actually kill that combi with my Gible and just protect my stage 2s a little bit better. Uh, and actually because we drew the Ultra Ball, I can actually play the Maxis for a 
guard chomp and draw five cards which is going to be super nice and we immediately get a guard chomp down so i'm going to play the ultra ball yeah i think i'm i'm seeing this right so i discard the guard chomp and uh could go for the trainer's mill or the muscle band i guess i'll go for the trainer's mill because we can put the muscle band down anyways yeah maybe yeah i don't know it, it's it's the same thing basically so as i mentioned i think i'm going to evolve this guy that doesn't have an energy maybe we drew the energy anyways but because we don't even have energy to accelerate into in our discard pile anyways so it doesn't really matter if we attack with guard chomp so I'm just going to play the maxis here and get the guard chomp out. Sorry, Primal Groudon. We could have got it, as you guys seen. Uh, of course, as immediately as I say this, we draw the, the single battle compressor that we have in our deck. So we could actually use guard chomp to charge up other guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting to draw that guard, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with our Gabite. Just take a prize here. Once again. I'm not. I. I don't think I'm playing this focus sash because I'm kind of scared of Starling Megaphone. I think, and we already played two of those um, tools, so don't really want to go with the with the third because my opponent can just Starling Megaphone get rid of all of them. Uh, I guess he can only attack once. So if he plays the megaphone and then kills one of our guys, we can immediately play the the focus sash the following turn. So I want to keep it as long as I can. Oh, we see the pyro, and it's the flare command one, the one that red signals our guys. Sort of red signals. It's not the same, obviously. Even if it was the same attack, I don't think the Pokemon Company would call it the same thing because they usually, on different Pokemon, have different names for stuff. Okay, we see an attachment from hand. That's interesting to say the least, because that means my opponent is not going to attack us this turn. Don't really know what is up to. I have to say I'm not scared of any of his shenanigans right now. I guess the worst thing that could happen is him bringing our uh, shaman into the active but we can actually draw i mean we can just play our game slowly with our karina hopefully draw something nice and just build another guard chomp i guess so <laughs> not too worried about that opponent is taking a long time he's considering his options but i think he's in a little bit of a pickle I mean, he's got a combi in the active position. Unless he evolves it, that combi is going to die. Oh, he's using fair command for shaman. Okay. Okay. And I guess he's passing the turn. Yeah. Okay, we actually drew the guard from our hand. So, uh, I think I want a gibble because next turn I can use this ball for the Gabite. And I guess I grab a VS Seeker. Uh, uh, yeah, that seems, that seems great. So we're kind of taking it slow, but we don't really care too much because we're just, just setting up our guys here, right? I mean, yeah, we kind of have to draw into that energy. So next turn I will have to discard my hand it's not worrisome though. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end the turn. Could have evolved the Gabite there, but I don't know. I'm not too worried with uh, the Focus Sash down and all that. Maybe I just want to evolve this Gibble. But actually, because I'm playing the Sycamore, I think I just want to evolve, just forget about the Rare Candies, just evolve the Gabite. And just grab another gib uh, Gabite with a level ball and evolve our Gable. And then play the Sycamore. Yeah, I think that's going to be my play. My opponent uses Battle Compressor. Maybe he's going to get back into this game. And I think he attached, yeah, he attached to that um, Zoroark, which means he's going to kill our Shaman. Yeah. Which is nice, I mean, he's taking two prizes, but I'm taking immediately afterwards one prize, and unless he has the fi the muscle, um, uh, sorry, the um, megaphone, he's in a little bit of trouble. 
because it's just not going to be trading for prizes right and we are so it's going to have to flare command and play a DC every single turn so that's going to be hard for him I guess yeah I mean he used stand him so I'd be really surprised if he didn't attack here does he just give us more time? I don't think he can we see a Skyla uh, maybe my opponent is just going to grab a better supporter we see puzzle of time okay what does he have that he wants I don't know yeah he already had the sycamores and all that so if you wanted the supported you would have got it with a via seeker so I don't really know what he's getting with a puzzle of time really really don't know what he's getting doesn't seem great here to be honest Maybe I would have played a Skyla, but I don't think I would have. I don't know. I don't think I would have played the, the puzzle here. I think I would just wait till next turn. I mean, you can play it, it's not a supporter, you know. You have the puzzles in hand. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I could judge him, but that doesn't seem great, also, so I don't know. <laughs> he says Go Lurk in there as well. So I guess he's just going for a multi-type um, deck that hits for a lot of weaknesses. And he, he he's eating for weakness on our guys, but that's not the, the, the thing that's making the difference here, I, I guess. Doesn't matter if you hit for weakness or not, if you're not killing our guys anyways because of the focus sash. And if you're not trading favorably for prizes. So he just evolves into the Thespiquen and he's going to mind jack us. I guess is fine. I'm just going to promote. Uh, could be the Holcha. I mean, it, any of our guys basically retreats for free except for the Kibble, so. Alright, and we drew the Sycamore anyway, so. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter which one we play, yeah. So I'm just going to evolve this guy, and I'm going to play the level ball, as I mentioned. I think I have to Sycamore here, which is kind of kind of sucks because. I mean, maybe I could wait a turn, but I don't think I, I, I want to. So yeah, I don't know. Let's play the battle compressor. Can go for an energy because uh, we could go for this one. But actually, yeah, I think I'm actually going for a basic just because the shaman is not is already not in play, so I don't really need to retreat re with it. And I'm also going to discard the halucha because it's useless in this matchup or pretty close to useless, and we already have one in play. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we want because we only have a, one Lysander and I'm going to discard this uh, Via Seeker. I'm just going to keep the Lysander in the deck. And we're kind of going all in with the Focus Ashes, so that's kind of a worry, but... Uh, 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 so let's just retreat into our Chompy. And I do have an Energy Drop here. Uh, and let's just Turbo Salt. Bam! On that Zoroark. Just grab this energy, put it on this guy, spread it around, and we are back to equal footing in terms of prizes. I guess the worst thing that could happen here would be my opponent playing the Megaphone, but even if that happens, the opponent has a Shaman in play and we don't. So I think that we are we can get up in prizes. So he takes one, he goes to three, and I take one, I go to, th to three, and then he goes to two, and then I go to two, and then he goes to one, and then I immediately win because I killed that Shaman. So even with a Megaphone, I think we can just win here. We also have the Via Seeker in hand. We can also accelerate a strong energy into the Halucha, that would be awesome. Okay, we see that Vespiquen is indeed going to attack us. He's not going to kill us, but we are also not going to kill his Vespiquen. Hmm, that sucks. I want to take a prize. Maybe I just Lysander out one of his other guys in the bench, like Zorua. Yeah, I think... 
And I really want to drop right here while we accelerate energy. I don't even know if I have energy to accelerate at this point, to be honest. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I want to take a prize here. I really do. Let's see, let's play this trainer's mail. Oh, there's a Lysander that's... Yeah, the Lysander wasn't even in our discard pile, so the, I guess the VS Seeker <laughs> wasn't going to make that much of a difference. I don't know why I had the idea that he was. I also would like to have that Sacred Ash, but... I think it's going to take some time until my opponent kills enough guys for it to be profitable for us. So I'm just going to use the Lysander here. I can double Lysander, so I'm just going to Lysander one of his guys that I can kill and immediately take a prize. I think that's going to be better. Turbo Assault. Bam. Can Lysander again next turn? <laughs> We're just killing around the Vespiquen. Uh, that's kind of funny, but yeah. Maybe, yeah, I should have retreated, actually, and attacked with another guard chump. The reason for that is I would make the most use out of our focus sessions while we can, because you never know if the, the megaphone is coming or not. And I would deny what my opponent an extra card draw, which would be one of the prizes for another turn, or just force him to spend a Lysander to draw uh, one of his prizes. So I guess, yeah, that would have been better. Plus, I would protect the guard chump with the, the, the strong energy which might come in handy, uh, but I don't know, if he, he's going to kill the guard chump with a strong energy, so maybe that's not a big deal, because we just put it into one of our other Pokemon, so yeah, I guess, don't care too much either way, I mean, we just want to trade for prizes once again, that's really the name of the game here, so my opponent is in fact going to take a prize, which maybe I shouldn't have let him, but uh, okay, let's promote one of our guard chumps. Okay, we drew the five, uh, the strong energy. So maybe, yeah, maybe I think I just get that shaman here because I mean the best thing that my opponent could do afterwards would be. Megaphone, kill our Garchomp, and it's it still would be two prizes away, and we could just win if he drew another VS Seeker. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the play. Just bite off. He has to get rid of our active Garchomp, and I don't think he can. I don't even know if he plays Megaphone at this point. And we also find another energy, so. We can no, we can't. Okay, we would need a strong energy to kill that. Actually, no. There's no way that we can kill that Vespiquen in a single hit, unless he doesn't kill our guard chomp in the active. Oh, we couldn't kill it anyways because we already played both of our um, muscle bands, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Okay, doesn't matter. Anyways. So 80, yeah, if he doesn't kill my active guard chomp, I just kill his Vespiquen, because I'm hitting for 100. Otherwise, I can't really do anything else. Okay, so I guess we win. <laughs> my opponent just cannot take any more prizes. Uh, so, yeah. And we drew the VS Seeker anyways, and my opponent concedes, okay. <laughs> so that was a, a mighty fine game, I mean, we're trading prizes for prizes, but I guess the Focus Sash is just so good in this deck. I mean, we're hitting for so much damage, and we're not even attacking EXs, and remember that all the damage that we did, uh, we could have been doing 200 up upwards to EX Pokemon anyways. So yeah, that's, that's the deck, I guess. Uh, as you guys seen, I could have gone for the Groudon, so it's not that hard. Some, there's a lot of games where we we will not be able to get the Groudon, but we're just a guard chomp deck anyways in those games, right? It's not like we're investing a lot. Uh, we're just investing, uh, I guess, three cards, the Battle Compressor, the Maxis, and the Groudon, and only one of them, which is the Groudon, is totally useless otherwise, because both the, the Maxis, as you've seen this game, 
and the bell compressor are useful in other situations. So I guess that's the deck, I hope you guys enjoy this, tell me what you think in the comment section below, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, all of that helps, um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time, bye!